everyone, happy Baby Name Monday. My name is SJ, if you're brand new, and you just clicked on this list, you're gonna hear 12 unique girl names that are actually mostly totally unranked. There's a couple of here that are lower down on the charts. Um, I just had to keep on because I love them, but they've got the most stunning meanings. So I do think if you're picking a baby name, sometimes the meaning can really sway you towards loving it. So I always try to include the meanings and the rankings, but as I said, these are pretty much unranked. So you're gonna get a gem pure gem of a girl name here. If you are brand new and you're naming a baby, then welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe. That's how you can join our lovely community here and join us every single week coming up with baby names. What else would you want to do on a Monday? Um, you can do that by adding to this list in the comment section below. Just type a girl name and its meaning and we can all pick and vote and like each other's and get an ultimate name list in the comment section below. And don't forget also to hit subscribe, then you can come back next week for the boy version of this list. Boy names with amazing meanings. I can't wait, so I will get on. I've got 12 names this week. Um, they're all super special, I have them on my phone. <laughs> so the first name is the name Caradoc. So it is a Welsh name. So we hear Keris a lot, which means loved, but Caradoc is a very rare, because so vintage Welsh name, um, and it actually means to love dearly or to love truly. It kind of translates as, so it goes right back to the Knights of the Round Table. One of the knights was called Caradoc. It's got that thing that we like at the moment where it's got a slight mix of surname as first name, doesn't sound overly, overly girly, but I just think it looks absolutely beautiful and does sound really beautiful. And she could be Cara as a nickname. Um, yeah, very, very ancient Welsh, ancient Celtic name. If that is your bag, Caradoc, I think it sounds absolutely lovely. I love Caraway as well, but I think Caradoc with this meaning, I don't know, there's something really special about it. It's kind of Delilah vibes, isn't it? With those stronger sounds coming through. The next name is the name Saatchi. So Saatchi, you think of the Saatchi galleries but the other way, but Saatchi is actually a Japanese name, but it's so wearable, very much like a Sasha, not hard to pronounce, not hard to say Saatchi, but it's totally unranked. And it means child of joy. So how much of a better name meaning can you get than that for a little girl? Could be a boy name as well. These are pretty gender neutral. Wouldn't it be funny if I did the same list twice for boys and girls? <laughs> Saatchi, but I love it for a little girl. It's a bit like SJ. <laughs> I should have changed my name to Saatchi. I think it's really, really stylish and fashionable, this name. As I said, it's totally unranked. Um, it is primarily a female name. It's Japanese, so if you do know the rankings in Japan, Japan, Japanese in Japan, then let me know, but I absolutely love it. This next name is so rare and it is so gorgeous. I'm a bit of crushing on it at the moment. And it's named Apricity, Apricity. So never heard that before. It's not used at the moment, but it's on a few sort of outsider name lists. It's actually really perfect for this time of year because it means the feeling of the sun during winter. So the feeling of the warmth of the sun during winter. So isn't that, it's like a, basically it's like a sort of a disused word. Um, so it's never really been used so much as a name, but it's on a few name lists because it's just so gorgeous, apricity. So it's so unusual. I think it really fits in with those sort of long names that we like at the moment, like Everly, Apricity, and are just such a gorgeous meaning. So that feeling when you're outdoors in the winter, the sun breaks through the clouds, and you get that real feeling of the warmth of the sun during cold times. So it could have a lot of meaning to you if you're going through tough times and your baby comes into your life, or you just love the meaning. I quite like City as a nickname, kind of trendy. Yeah, I'm absolutely a tiny bit obsessed with that name. The next name we've talked about before, and it is one that is ranked, but there were only 35 babies called this last year, and I love it, and it's the name Samira. So I just really, really like this name. I think it's a character in a horror movie. You guys always tell me that puts some of you off. I would never watch horror movies, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Samira, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful name, and it means um, a friend, it means evening talks with a friend. So it's such a special meaning for me. That meaning is really comforting and it just feels like it sets you up for this real relationship. Samira, this is like evening talks. Imagine when you're up with your baby at night and you're just like, oh, we're having these lovely evening talks. But it's just such a gorgeous name meaning. Um, I absolutely love it. And I think it's got that sort of evening warmth kind of 
um, glowy vibe to it because of that name meaning. The next name, I'm going to say, I'll keep saying this one wrong, because I want to say Idalia, but it's Idalia, Idalia, so the Dal rhymes with Hal, Idalia, so it's really, really lovely, and in a sea full of islands, she could be an Idalia, um, even ivies, you know, Idalia is so gorgeous, and it means behold the sun. So again, the sun shines, it's quite sunny vibes in this name list, but Idalia, meaning behold the sun, and it's just a gorgeous name, so, so pretty. I absolutely love it, that feeling of the sunshine and somebody lighting it with life, as we often talk about with babies, and it's just pretty, pretty as. The next one is the name Leto. Kind of different, isn't it, Leto? I really like it, I've had it kind of rumbling on a few name lists, but I feel like this is the one to launch it at you, Leto. So I know that we love L sounds, um, but have you ever thought of this name? Actually, she was the Titan, Titaness, the Titans were these fierce women like Diana, um, Wonder Woman, they were all Titans, female Titans, so she was the Titaness of motherhood and protector of the young, and her name is Leto. I just think it's such a cool name. We love O sounds, don't we? Like, it's not too dissimilar to Olivia. I mean, it is, but it's got some of the same sounds. Um, so she was the sister of Asteria. She's the mother of Apollo and Artemis, who we've had on our sort of Greek name list before, but I don't know if I mentioned Leto. I think it's really beautiful. I mean, it is funny because I was obsessed with Jared Leto. <laughs> when I was younger. So I think I would be quite hilarious if I'd have chosen this because literally I loved him. I even went to see him with his bands. <laughs> um, still, you know, never met in real life, but that's another that's another YouTube video. But the name Leto, I just think is gorgeous. That's your outside of choice. Really, really, really trendy. Um, oh, and this next one is so trendy as well. It's the name Ramon. And Ramon means protecting hands. At the moment, one of my favourite kind of symbols or images is those sort of hands, you know, with the little stars around it. I just think it's such a beautiful icon of kind of spirituality and protection and love and motherhood. And so I love the name Ramon. It's such 70s vibes. Obviously, there's the band, the Ramones. But I think for a girl, Ramon is so trendy. She would be so cool. So cool. Imagine little kids like Coco and Ramon. Like, it's that sort of a vibe to me. So, so trendy. So it's, it's Spanish background to the name, and it's where Raymond comes from. Oh, hello. Um, oh, my gosh. Someone's ordering a ban on my street. My WhatsApp has gone crazy for that skip. Um, Ramon, protecting hand like Raymond. If you've got Raymond in your family, but thinking, oh, never would use Raymond or Ray. But for a feminine, Ramon is suddenly totally different to me and really feel like a festival girl and outdoorsy spirit this meaning of protecting hands I just think is stunning and you could do a whole room of that kind of like lovely symbol of these like hand-drawn little hands I absolutely love it I will tell you a sneak peek that I have some nursery nursery collection coming out soon one of them's got that on yay <laughs> um Alma I have put it on this is the only one that is ranked and because I just absolutely love it, it's at 345, which is rising up through the ranks very, very fast. So I wanted to quickly make sure it doesn't sneak any of you by because it means feeds the soul. And I just think it's just the most amazing meaning. And my daughter is Evelina and I feel she could totally be an Alma. Do you think Alma could work as a nickname for an Evelina? I think I could maybe get it in there. <laughs> it's just a different name. Lifts the spirit or feeds the soul. Evelina, nickname Alma. Yeah. I reckon I'm going to try go for that. She hasn't got a nickname. She just started school. Uh, the next name is the name Koa. K-O-A. It's a Hawaiian name. And it means brave or warrior. And I think it's so trendy. Like, we love Noah. We've got a bit obsessed with Noah for a girl lately. So if it feels even like Noah's um, being pinched from you, you could go with Koa. And that's another reason why we'll love it as well. So I've just changed memory cards. And the sun has come out, which is lovely. Obviously, hearing these names. Idalia to come on out. Um, yeah, so the name Makoa also, it's a type of wood um, that's native to Hawaii and they use it to make like surfboards um, and to make acoustic guitars. So Taylor Swift has a koa wood um, acoustic guitar. Um, so I just think that makes me really love it as well. The idea that you could um, be linked to music or linked to your hobbies like surfing and things like that is a really lovely reason to use the name koa. Um, and I think it is really adorable just so pretty isn't it the name callisto so really nice i've seen calypso being used quite a lot recently seems to be sort of having this little moment 
Um, but I really do love Callisto as well. Um, it means most beautiful. <laughs> so it's a bit of an expectation, isn't it? But um, also just such a beautiful name, Callisto. It's so unique. And remember with name meanings, no one really asks you what your name means, do they? So it's just lovely for you to know as parents. Um, but I just think it sounds like it means most beautiful. I love the O ending. It is again another Greek name. So Callisto is one of the moons of Jupiter which is really lovely. She was originally, and then all this history, which we absolutely love, because so Callista was the name of a nymph who was coveted by Zeus, who then was turned into a bear to kind of get rid of her. And now she become the great bear constellation. So if any of that means anything to you, I just think I love these stories. Callisto, the great bear, um, and also the one of the means of Jupiter. So lots of little reasons to love the name Callisto, but meaning most beautiful, I think is just, so stunning. The next name is Amaryllis and it actually means to sparkle. How gorgeous is that, to sparkle? I just love it. It's just such a pretty sounding name, Amaryllis. It's also a floral name so the flowers um, come out in winter um, and they they mean to so the flowers all have symbols. So if you're into flower names, of course, there's a million flower name lists on this channel. My first ever baby named Monday was rare floral names um, and their flowers symbolize pride strength and determination so i really like the sort of fact that it's got this strong core of a name and this floral amaryllis but the meaning to sparkle is just so special and um, so special and the last one is the name bardot so it's got kind of surname as first name vibes as we very much think of it, most of us as Bridget Bardot with the T on the end as the actress. So kind of like Hollywood glam name a little bit Bardot. But I really see it as the spiritual side of it. So to live in the state of Bardot. So so many of us love the name Bodhi. And if we've got it then, <laughs> Bodhi, it's kind of like almost a feminine form of Bodhi Bardot. Um, it is again a kind of zen-like state to live between um, two lives on earth. So sort of two states basically of being on on earth so that's kind of interesting isn't it, it could translate um for many things even just the journey from becoming a woman to becoming a mother um but there's six types of bardo states of bardo one being like a meditative state so it's a really beautiful spiritual name bardo also means water um so i love like water names i'm a water sign i'm feeling very spiritual today aren't i um uh, but i really love that meaning of it as well and what i quite liked because it's one of those so you could be nicknamed doe a deer, a female deer. I'm obsessed with the sound of music, but I think Doe is a really quite a cute nickname as well. Or Bo, obviously like Bodhi could be Bo as a nickname. But if you're a bard, not that you would nickname somebody bard who's a bardo, but I like the fact that if you're a bard, it's also the name for a poet. So they often talk about Shakespeare being a bard. It's a Scottish uh, word for a poet. Um, so, or playwright. So I think that's also a really beautiful reason to love the name Bardo. So that is my name list. Do you love it? I really hope you do. They're all really unranked and special, so I hope it's names that you've never come across before but can hold a little place in your heart. Please, if you've watched this far, do hit subscribe if you're not already. We've re-recorded the podcast. So I have a podcast for this community, um, which is called Baby Name Envy, where I answer your name dilemmas. And the community, as well as chatting here, do leave a comments below um, adding to this name list. But you can also find a real thriving community over on Instagram. If you have the Instagram app, it's also called baby name envy and every single day there are polls for you to get involved in answering real people's name ideas and choices and everything like that so it's a really interactive one um, and if you just want name ideas there's also pinterest which has loads and loads of names in there from me and um, there's over a million hits over there every single month so you'll definitely just win and scroll 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 for names um, and that's it for this week i will catch up with you again next week hope you have a wonderful monday lots of love bye bye